Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar taking a look at audio mixing inside Adobe Audition CS6. Once we've got our edits finished and the pictures are perfect, we still need to make the sound sound great, and that's where Audition can come in. Whether you're working with Final Cut or Avid or Premiere, it makes no difference. Audition can mix your projects and make them sound better than if you tried to mix them inside the NLE itself, and that is what today's webinar is to talk about. By the way, membership is a great value. If you're looking to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library is a great value. We now have more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date, all for an incredibly low monthly price of $19.99. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software, and we update it every week. For more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. What I want to cover today is to show you how to send a Premiere Pro CS6 project to Audition. I'll talk about editing and trimming audio clips, but mostly in brief, not in a lot of detail. I'll show you how to add effects, how to set levels, how to create buses and submixes, how to create stems, what stems are, how to test and output the final mix. Here's a project that I created in Premiere. It consists of three video tracks, Dr. Vint Surf on V1, our B-roll on V2, and titles on V3. Then for audio, I have Dr. Surf's audio. Then I've got some sound effects, space ambience and whooshes, space drones. Then I've got tracks of music, our open and closing theme, and some music that we're using in the middle. I've got virtually everything pretty much kind of sort of spotted in. The audio for the sync sound and pictures are perfect. The audio for sound effects is roughed in so I can show you how to make adjustments inside Audition. Let me play just the first little bit of this because the levels are kind of out of control. In another role that I have at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, We've been working for the last six years or so on the design of an interplanetary extension. We want to standardize. Okay, clearly we got stuff that uh, needs to be adjusted, and rather than subject you to uh, wildly inaccurate levels, uh, we'll send this over to Audition for Mix. Couple things to point out. Notice here that I've got a fade in and a fade out at both ends of this, this music down here. Notice that I've labeled all of my audio tracks. SFX for sound effects and music, either for my theme music or for my interstitial music. I've got a variety of sound effects. It goes Dr. Surf first, sound effects are second, music is third. This is a process called checkerboarding, where I tend to put the same audio on the same track. Notice also I have multiple tracks of sound effects. I have multiple tracks of music. This is going to come back to us as we take a look at stems a little later in this presentation. So now that you see that we've got our structure is complete, the video editing is complete, but the audio is only roughed in, how do we get it over to Audition? Let's select the sequence that we want to send. We're going to send the audio edit V1, and so we select that. Go to the Edit menu, go down to Edit in Adobe Audition, and select Sequence. It says, what do you want to call it? I'm going to just leave it named after the sequence name. It automatically stores it inside a special folder called Adobe Audition Interchange. I generally leave that alone. Do I want to send the entire sequence or just the work area? We're going to send the entire sequence. This defaults to two second handles. I like having a little bit more handles to work with. Handles are extra audio before the in and after the out of a clip, which allows me to make adjustments to fade ins and fade outs to make it blend a little bit more easily. Having a little bit of extra doesn't really increase the file size that much, and not having it can aggravate you <laughs> to no end. If you are going to audition, this must be checked. Export preview video. And the reason is, this is going to do two things. One is it's going to create a video automatically of the, the files that you have inside your edit. But more importantly, if this is not checked, you're not going to be able to get the file back from Audition to Premiere. This serves as the linkage between Audition and Premiere for coming back. 
I generally don't render audio clip effects, and I don't generally send volume keyframe metadata. And the reason is I want to create all of this inside Audition. And generally the first thing that I'll do when I send the file from Premiere or from Final Cut to Audition is I delete all of my effects, I delete all of my volume settings so I can start fresh. And the reason is levels in both Premiere and Final Cut are set on the clip basis and levels inside Audition are set on a track basis. For this reason, I have more control and easier control by having my audio level set on a track rather than on a clip basis. I just get rid of all my clip levels. I want to have it automatically open Audition, so I leave this checked. Once you've got that set properly, click OK. It takes about, oh, this is about a 60 second piece, 50 to 60 second piece. It's going to take about 30 seconds to export. First, it has to compress the little video, and the duration of that depends upon how long your sequence is. It could take a few minutes if you've got an hour long project. Perfect time to go get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Then it sends the audio clips over. And when it's done, it opens up Audition, and there's our project. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on audio mixing using Adobe Audition. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 84.